Hello from Shrix and hello from Smarthood. What's up folks? In this video, we will add the graphics to our linear layout of the questions.xml that we just designed in the previous tutorial. Now in the last video, we designed the graphical layout of the questions.xml with the help of what linear layout. Now before we add graphics, let us do some changes in the questions.xml codes. Now do one thing. Here you can see a warning sign. This warning sign is just because we have not stored this text string into our string.xml. Now these now inside our string.xml, these are few strings that we used in the front page.xml. Right? Now similarly, now similarly as we did before, we have to store all these string values in the string.xml because this is not a recommended approach that we should use. So what we are going to do, just do one thing, just give the address at the rest string slash let's say tv underscore xx, fine. Now go to the string.xml, create a string here, give it a name, the name should be what, tv underscore xx. Now this name should always be equal to this name that we have given here, fine. At the red string, we are referring to what tv underscore x is and tv underscore xx is available here. Fine. Now give the string as xx slash. Right. Now go to question.xml graphical layout. Now here you can see again we are getting the xx slash. Now similarly guys, change all these warning signs, store all these string values into the string.xml. Right. We are having three, four text views. So we are going to repeat the same process for all these text views. Now guys in the string.xml I have stored all these value for the text view xx, yy, text view of question and text view of answer. So similarly I have declared the address at the red string slash tv underscore xx. Then similarly at the red string slash tv underscore yy. Now for question tv underscore question and for answer tv underscore answer. Now we are pretty done with the stuff of storing all these string values in the strings.xml. Now here again you can see a warning sign. Now this warning sign says linear layout should use layout height equal to wrap content. Now even if you don't change the wrap content then also it is not going to harm your program. But then let us change it to wrap content. Now go downside. Now here in these three buttons that you can see at the bottom. These buttons do not require any text. Now do one thing. Remove all this text. Right? Because we are going to add the graphics to it. Now we are pretty done with our coding part. Now let us do one thing. I have created all the graphics. I am already having all the graphics out here. Now these are the graphics that we are going to add in our XML layout. So all these are actually PNG files and you can check its dimensions. All the images are actually in KBs. So please guys go through my multiple screen support tutorials and please check out how I have designed the layout of the front page.xml. What dimension I have taken I am not going to show it to you again. Just make sure your images should be in KBs and should be of the recommended dimensions right. Now let's copy it and paste it inside the drawable folder. Now here we are having bunch of images. Now let us add the graphics to our XML layout. At the top of the linear layout, as you can see on the right hand side of the screen, it is having a wooden texture, right? Let's write background, add the red drawable, then slash top bottom, right? Now this background image is actually present at the bottom most linear layout also. So let's do one thing, copy it and paste it in the last linear layout. Fine. Check the graphical layout. Yeah, it is looking pretty awesome. Now let's add the graphics to our middle linear layout. So similarly background add the red drawable middle. Fine. Now let's check our graphical layout. It is looking quite pretty cool. At the bottom we are having three buttons. So let us add graphics to them also background left 
Now go to the graphical layout. Now here you can see at the bottom side of the screen, I have added the graphics to the left button and the right button. Now this is the middle button which I have not added the graphics to it. Now why I have not added the graphics because we are going to apply selector for this button, right? Now guys, one more thing I forgot to just mention. Now guys, in the last video, we changed the text color of the topmost text views XX and YY as black. Now for these two text view, we haven't defined the attribute text color in case of text view of question and press A button for the answer. So what we're gonna do, just go to questions.xml, copy this text color code and paste it where? Inside the text view of question and also inside the text view of answer, right? Now you can see the difference. Our text is now completely looking dark and awesome. So this was all about the designing of our layout. Now in the next video, we are going to add the selector to our center button of the bottom most linear layout. Meanwhile guys, if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel and please do leave a comment below my video. This is Shrix from Smart Herd signing off and thanks for watching. Have a good day. Thank you.